In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, I'd like to show you the advantages of renaming your project assets and grouping them. These are two things that you can do that will help make your projects much easier to manage. Now by assets we mean titles. We could refer to an audio track, a video clip, or a still image. Let me show you some advantages, first of all, of renaming them. If I play the video that I have here, I note that I have a video on track number one, which is a shot of a canyon. Then I have three titles, but notice what they're named. They're very difficult to see which title belongs to which words. So I'll play it and we'll see what happens. First of all, we have the canyon video and then the date pops in. And then we have a phone number. And I see I have the date keyframe, so it pops for us. So I have these three titles, but if I want to edit one or the other, which belongs to which? I could actually enlarge the track and maybe see a little bit more, but maybe I want my real estate, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to keep these narrow and yet find out what's on each track. The easiest way to do that is to use the renaming function. If I right click on any track, and first of all, I'll see what this one is. I happen to know from experience that this is the phone number because it's the third one to appear. If I move the current time indicator to the left, you'll notice it will disappear. And the second one is the date. If I move this to the left, that will disappear. What do you do if they're all one on top of the other? Then it would be harder to discern. So let me show you a simple way to label these. I can take the title and right click on it and then I can click on rename. And since I know this is the phone number, I'm just going to call it phone. And now it has a title that means something to me. I could take this one here, the second one, and right click on this and call this the date if I wanted to. We'll click on rename. We'll call it tour date. And now I have something that means something to me. I could do the same with the title on video track number two. But I find this really helpful. Now there's a faster way to do this if you'd like. The easy way to do that is to go into my project assets at the top. Now you notice changing the name down here once they're on the track does not change the name up in the project assets window. The easiest way to do that is change it here first. Let me, let me take the phone number and we'll do that again. I'll right click on the phone number and we'll do rename. And I will just call this contact phone just to keep it different. And now if I name them once they're in my project assets window and drag them down, I'll stretch this out, you'll notice that they retain the name. I don't have to name them twice. So it makes a lot more sense to name them once you pull them into your project assets than wait until they're on the timeline. Although you can and that won't hurt anything. Now I've already keyframed this one we call tour date, which started out simply as title 07. And I don't want to delete it because I don't want to have to redo the keyframing. So in those situations where you forget, it's okay simply to use that renaming function in the timeline. But for me, the most efficient thing to do is to rename all of these as soon as you bring them into your project assets. So I'll take the second one and we'll remove it. There's another item you can do that I find great advantage to, and that is grouping or ungrouping objects. If we have these items together, and we want to make sure they don't move because we like exactly where they're spaced. There is a way to prevent them from being moved or edited by accident, and that is to group them. To group them, all you need to do is draw an imaginary rectangle or square, hold the left mouse button down, and then you drag and move over any tracks you want to group and let go. And then you have one of two options. You can right click and you can click on group or you can hold the control key down and hit the G key for group and that will group them. Now what happens when they're grouped? They don't look different, but watch what happens. If I hold 
the mouse on the first clip and try to drag it to the right, they all move together. They are grouped. I cannot edit any of them independently of one another. To ungroup them, you click on any of the elements in the group. It doesn't matter. I can right click and I can simply click on the ungroup or I can do Control Shift G for my keyboard shortcut. If I ungroup, now they're ungrouped. They don't look different, but now I can take any one of them and move, move it or edit it independently of the others in the group. Now this is really important because there are times when you have some things that are sequenced in your timeline and you want to make sure you don't accidentally uh, split them or interfere with them in any way and you can do it with a group. Let's see what happens if we have elements that are not contiguous to each other. I'm going to pull in this other video and put this on track number three. This has a video track and an audio track. We'll make them all fit on the screen together. Now I will simply select them. Got one more to pick here. We'll do this again. Go way up to here. And I can right click and I can group them. And you'll notice they don't have to be contiguous to move together. You can move them way over here, move them back. Once they're grouped, they will move as one. And again, that prevents you from editing anything in the group. I move up, I find that I can right click and I can ungroup them all, or I can do Control Shift G again, and now they're all independent one from the other. But those are two very useful tools that you have in Premier Elements 2018 in managing the assets that you place on your timeline.